body, the union of the body and self was writ by the Creator Lord from the very beginning. The Lord is unmanifestly pervading amongst all. By Guru's guidance, He is revealed. He who sings God's praise and repeats His praise gets merged in His praise. The true word of the Guru is wholly true. Through it one meets in the union of the true Lord. He, the Lord, is everything by Himself. He Himself blesses one with glory. Slok 2nd Guru Nanak says, If a blind man goes to a say jewel, he shall not know their worth and shall return after exposing his ignorance. Second Guru, the bag of jewels, the Guru, the jeweler, has come and opened. The Guru's words, the bag of jewels, remains merged in the minds of the both, the Guru, the vendor of commodity, and the disciple, the Vendi. Nanak says, those who possess merits alone purchase the name jewel. They who know not worth of the jewels of the Guru's word and name wander in the world like blind men. Pori, the body fortress, has nine doors. The tenth is kept secret. The adamantine shutters of the tenth gate do not open. It is through the Guru's word alone they get opened. The melodious celestial strain rings there. By the aid of the Guru's word, it is heard. The divine light shines in the hearts of those who hear the music of the tenth gate. Such persons meet the God by devotion and meditation. The one Lord who created the world is pervasive amongst all. Slok 2nd Guru He alone is blind who follows the road shown by the blind. Nanak says, Why should he who can see stray into wilderness? They who have no eyes in their face are not called blind. Nanak says, They alone are blind who stray away from their Lord. Second Guru, He whom the Lord has blinded him, he alone can make see clearly. As he knows, so acts he, even though someone may instruct him a hundred times. Where God, the real thing, is not visible, there he follows his own will. Nanak says, how can a customer buy an object without knowing it? Second Guru, how can he be called blind who is blinded by the Lord's will? Nanak says, it is he who realizes not the Lord's will who is called blind. Pori, in the self is situated a fortress city where all things from the country and foreign lands are obtained. The Lord himself sits in trance and himself is pervasive in all. He himself created the world and himself remains hidden therein. By the Guru's service is known the Lord and his truth becomes manifest. The truest of the true Lord is all by himself. The Guru has imparted this realization to me. Slok 1st Guru Night and day are our summer and winter harvesting seasons. Lust and wrath are the fields. Avarice is the suitable time to sow. Falsehood the seed and worldly love the tenant and plowman. Thought is the plow and evil the corn heap. This is what one earns and eats in the Lord's will. Nanak says, at the final reckoning, he shall go barren who had given birth to him. First Guru, make God's fear the soil, purity the water, truth and contentment the bullocks, Humility, the plow, mind, the tiller, meditation, the proper condition of the soil, and God's union, the suitable time. Make thou the Lord's name thy seed, and his grace thine corn heap. Thus the whole world shall seem false to thee. Nanak says, if God's glance of grace comes, then thine separation shall all be ended. For he, the egocentric person, is enveloped by the darkness of the worldly love. He talks of the love of another. In duality there is everlasting pain and he ever churns the water in vain. The Guru words meditate on the God's name and by churning take out the essence. His mind and inner self are illumined and he seeks the Lord. The Lord himself strays the mortal into delusion. No one can question him about it. Salok so 2nd Guru Nanak says, Do not be in anxiety for thy maintenance. The anxiety is for him. He has created creature 
in water to them too he gives sustenance no one runs any shop there nor engages in sowing fields no business is ever transacted there and no one buys or sells animals are the food of animals such viand the lord gives them they whom he has created in the ocean their care to the lord takes nanak says do not fall into anxiety the anxiety he takes on himself first guru nanak says this mortal is the fish and death an avaricious fisherman the blind man thinks not of this quite unexpectedly the net falls nanak says the mind is thoughtless and it shall depart bound with anxiety if the lord casts his glance of grace to himself he unites him for he ever true ever true are the persons who drink god's elixir by the guru's grace the true lord abides in the man's mind and he then strikes the true bargain everything is within the home it is obtained by supreme good fortune with desire from the self banished one sings the lord's praise the lord himself unites man in his union and himself grants him realization slok first guru after ginning and spinning cotton the cotton cloth is woven beating to bleach it is steamed to wash it white then cut by scissors by the tailor torn with needle and thread it is stitched thus is one's tattered honor soon by the lord's praise and one lives the true life says nanak becoming worn out the cloth is torn and the needle and thread mend it it does not last for a month or fortnight it only endures for an hour or a moment truth never grows old and once stitched does not ever get torn nanak says the 